I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my King. Alleluia. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves for the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sins and divisions. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to our blessing life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we celebrate in mystery the solemnities of your Son's resurrection, so too we may be worthy to rejoice at his coming with all the saints. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd in Philippi joined in the attack on Paul and Silas, and the magistrates had them stripped and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After inflicting many blows on them, they threw them into prison and instructed the jailer to guard them securely. When they received these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and secured their feet to a stake. About midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God as the prisoners listened, there was suddenly such a severe earthquake that the foundations of the jail shook. All the doors flew open and the chains of all were pulled loose. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, thinking that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted out in a loud voice, Do no harm to yourself, we are all here. He asked for a light and rushed in, and trembling with fear, fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you and your household will be saved. So they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to everyone in his house. He took them in at that hour of the night and bathed their wounds. Then he and all his family were baptized at once. He brought them up into his house and provided a meal. And with his household, rejoiced at having come to faith in God. The word of the Lord. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great things above all things, your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the works of your hands.
Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you asked me, Where are you going? But because I told you this, grief has filled your hearts. But I tell you the truth, it is better for you that I go. For if I do not go, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin, because they do not believe in me. Righteousness, because I am going to the Father and you will no longer see me. Condemnation, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The disciples' hearts are filled with grief because Jesus will soon be leaving them. They were bewildered and grief-stricken then, but they didn't know what was ahead. All they knew was that they were going to lose Jesus. But he told them that in the end, this is all for the best, because when he went away, the Holy Spirit, the Advocate, would come. He said, it is better for you that I go. If Jesus does not go into the Father's glory by way of his cross and resurrection, the Holy Spirit will not come to his disciples. But once Jesus' humanity has been tra transformed by the Father's glory, he will send the Holy Spirit. Having been so glorified, Jesus will no longer be bound by the limits of space and time, and therefore he can be present to the disciples in an infinitely more intimate way through the Spirit than he ever could have been before Easter. Jesus has taught that the Spirit's actions takes place within the disciples. The Spirit gives security and peace to the disciples when they are confronted by the world's rejection and hatred. The Spirit does this work within the disciples so that they can go into the world and testify with confidence to the love of God in Christ. The Spirit reveals to the disciples that the world is wrong to reject God's word, its only hope of salvation. The Holy Spirit will convince men of righteousness. It becomes clear what this means when we, when we see that it is Jesus Christ's right, righteousness of which men will be convinced. When Jesus dies on the cross, to many he will appear guilty as a criminal. But Jesus is going to the Father. The Spirit will so impress the reality of the glorified Jesus on believers' hearts that they will know the justice and righteousness is on Jesus' side, not the world's. For the Father has vindicated him in raising him from the dead. Jesus' death on the cross will be appear to be his defeat and his enemy's victory. But the opposite is in fact the case. Satan, as the ruler of the world, has been condemned. Jesus' disciples are messengers of the Father's love to the hostile, unbelieving world. Their mission is going to be a struggle, and it requires the help of the Holy Spirit. They give testimony not only by their words, but also by their transformed lives which display the Father's love available in Jesus. Pope Paul VI speaks to this very point when he says, Modern man listens more willingly to witnesses than to teachers. And if he does listen to teachers, it's because they are witnesses. The disciples were witnesses, and we are called by our baptism to be witnesses to Christ. We are graced by the gifts of the Holy Spirit, wisdom, understanding, knowledge, counsel, piety, fortitude, and fear of the Lord. And we are blessed by the fruits of the Holy Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, longanimity, mildness, faith, modesty, continence, and charity, and chastity, that gives us the tools to be loving witnesses. Let us live our lives guided by the Holy Spirit. We leave our needs to our Heavenly Father, trusting that He will hear us. For all shepherds of the church, 
May the Lord grant them strength in guiding the church toward healing and sacramental transformation. We pray to our Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of nations, may God give them courage and strength in seeking out justice and peace. We pray to our Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those struggling with depression, anxiety, or any other mental health challenge, may their hearts find peace and rest in the Lord. We pray to our Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and those infected with the coronavirus, may Jesus, the divine physician, offer them hope and provide healing. We pray to our Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For healthcare workers and frontline workers who are selflessly treating coronavirus patients during this pandemic, and for those working in the front line to give us some normalcy of life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially those among our loved ones, may they rest in eternal peace with all the saints and angels in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer these prayers to you, God of mercy, with thanks and praise to Christ. Our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will be come for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the body and work of human hands. It will become our spirit of drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for all the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice hath made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. At all times we claim you, O Lord but in this time above all, to love you yet more gloriously. When Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed, to him the children of life rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people, and souls in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, our God hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son and Highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed only, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Let only therefore this gift be prayed by sending down the Spirit upon them that are rueful, so that they may be us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was being prayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took a chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, O of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into a life of your face. Have mercy on us, O we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be poets to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Yes,
Behold the Lamb of God, behold he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not sure that you should stand on my word, but I must say the word, and my soul shall be I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. Communion will be by the center aisle. Please maintain your distance.
For those joining us live streaming, please join me in the spirit of humble prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come with me spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have been dealing with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May your mighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Hallowed be thy name, 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Anne, Mother of the Blessed Virgin Mary, pray for us. The third mystery, meditate on God becoming man. Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, for all God and Amen. Saint Anne, Mother of the Blessed Virgin Mary, pray for us. Good Saint Anne, you are privileged to be the mother of Mary, God's mother and ours, and so you hold the favor place among the saints. We turn to you with confidence because of your closeness to Mary, and also because you have always shown your power and loneliness to those that are to you. Through this be as Saint Anne, I ask you to help me each day to come closer to Jesus through Mary, Give me a heart for sin which separates me from God, and teach me to love my neighbor as myself. I place before you the special intentions of this novena. Please recommend them to Mary, that she may bring them before her son Jesus. It does seem for me, Saint Anne that I may follow Jesus more closely in the vocation in life to which he has called me, so that when his life is over, I may with Mary and you and all the saints enjoy the vision of God face to face. Amen. Ever Immaculate Virgin, Mother of Mercy, Health of the Sick, Refuge of Sinners, 
Father who afflicted. You know my wants, my troubles, my suffering. Then to cast upon me a look of mercy, by appearing in the rise of glory, you are pleased to make it a privileged sanctuary, where you dispense your favors. And already many sufferers have obtained the cure of their infirmities, both spiritual and corporal. I come, therefore, with the most unbounded confidence to implore your eternal intercession, obtain your loving love the granting of my requests. To gratitude for your favors, I will endeavor to imitate your virtues, that I may one day share your glory. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To the possession of Saint Anne, may the Lord bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And we implore you to listen to our prayer. In time of temptation, take us in your care. O good Saint Anne, we call on your name. Your praise is loud, your children proclaim. O good Saint Anne, we call 